Hello, everybody! Welcome to the aristocracy. Do you guys think I'm gonna turn out to be a centrist? Because people do, they always call me a centrist. I remember I had a debate with Vosh and all the comments are like, you fucking centrist. Did I misspell political compass? Oh my God, it's on my screen, I'm so dumb. This is why, yeah, okay, remember I told you guys PhDs are not smart? This is, uh, this is primary evidence for this. There you go. <laughs> okay, let's do this, let's do this test. I have the right to be dumb, all right? I have the right to be dumb as long as I promise that I will try to learn. If economic globalization is inevitable, it should primarily serve humanity rather than the interests of transnational corporations. Who would say, okay, strongly agree. Who, who would say strongly disagree? Like, I don't, like maybe Elon Musk. <laughs> I'd always support my country whether it was right or wrong. I definitely don't agree with that, but I do think I have a bias towards my own country. For example, I would rather fight in the Canadian army than I would in the Israeli army. But then it says if you're right or wrong. So I definitely, hmm, this is gonna be a more middle ground. Um, I'll just say I will disagree. Yeah, because even if my country fucks up, I don't want it to get in trouble. Because <laughs> I love Canada. I, I feel like, like Canada saved my life, it saved my family. Like, I it means so much to me. And I think a lot of immigrants to Canada, if there's anyone in the chat, you know what I'm talking about. Like, this country is fucking amazing. And I know it's really cringe to be a nationalist, like, but I can't help it. So I'm not gonna say like strongly agree, but I'll say I'll agree if I'm being completely honest. It, because Canada has this really nice mix between like respecting tradition, but being very, very progressive and pragmatic. And, and mostly it's like a culture of, um, there's just a culture of a kindness here. Like there's a stereotype that Canadians are so nice and it is so true. No one chooses their country of birth, so it's foolish to be proud of it. Um, strongly disagree. I'm gonna piss off all the anti-nationalists in this room. But yeah, as I mentioned, I'm very, very proud of being a Canadian, though I wasn't born here. Our race has many superior qualities compared with other, oh, what? What? Um, no. The enemy of the, of my enemy is my friend. <laughs> yeah? Strongly agree, I told you I'm really strategic. There is this, I know this is such a bad quality, right? And you guys can tell me in the chat if you feel this way too, but there is something that happens, you know when you meet someone and you're not bonded with them at all, but then you find out that you both either dislike the same person or dislike this, the same idea. And then you immediately feel this bond and you know it's stupid, but you just like, you feel it. Like you're just like, oh, I trust this person. Military action that defies international law is sometimes justified. I would say that it's rare and I never think that's okay but at the same time yeah I do think that there are situations where it would be justified especially if the international law is being controlled by certain um you know problematic countries right so I mean it might break international law to get involved say in the dark war genocide because it's being funded by China and China has a lot of influence on the UN but does that make it wrong no. It can make it unpragmatic, maybe, or, you know, but I don't think it's like inherent, like, yeah, I definitely think it could be in, like inherently justified. There is now a worrying fusion of information and entertainment. Okay, strongly agree. And I'm a, such a hypocrite with this because this is literally what I do. <laughs> like this is what I'm doing with my stream. Okay, people are ultimately divided more by class than by nationality. Oh, that's a really hard question. I definitely think I can be a class reductionist sometimes, but um, I don't know, but I can also see the differences in nations. But then again, no, controlling inflation is more important than controlling unemployment. That's a tough one. I, I don't know if I'm qualified to make that economic decision. In South Africa, like basically the entire economy was destroyed by inflation. And then inevitably that leads to just rampant unemployment and just total disasters. But on the other hand, like people need to be employed, right? To be able to serve. So I, I have no clue like what is the correct thing here. Um, my, uh, my gut tells me that controlling unemployment is more important. Because corporations cannot be trusted to voluntary, pr voluntarily protect the environment, they require regulation. Hell yeah. Dude, corporations only care about profit. Why would you trust them? That's not their job. Like I don't even blame them for it. 
from each according to his ability to each according to his need is a fundamentally good is that a quote from something i feel like i recognize it i don't remember where it's from oh it's it's marx okay can someone explain to me what this quote means i'm assume i think i know what it means it's a principle nonetheless should people who provide who can provide help those who can't provide for themselves um i would say i agree with that not like strongly I just google it yeah what if i'm getting like trolled by my chat right the freer the market the freer the people strongly disagree um yeah i i believe in heavy regulation it's a sad reflection on our society that something as basic as drinking water is now bottled branded consumer that doesn't bother me so much that in here and here i lose all the commies maybe i am a centrist land shouldn't be a commodity to be bought and sold okay <laughs> i'm definitely gonna lose all the all the uh the deal lives right now <laughs> this is terrible okay yeah i don't like i actually don't have a problem with the concept of private property but i don't like it focused on land i do have some neo live opinions so but like that's the problem like people will always they'll hear one opinion of mine and they'll be like oh she's so based and then they'll hear the next opinion and be like okay i'm out <laughs> It is regrettable that many personal fortunes are made by people who simply manipulate money and contribute to their society. Oh, contribute nothing to their society. Yeah, I would say strongly agree. I don't, I feel like even if you're a capitalist, you would disagree with that. This whole test feels like it's a little, it, it kind of is like straw manning right wing opinions. Protectionism is sometimes necessary in trade. I can see how it would be sometimes necessary, but I don't like it as a general rule. So I will say disagree. The only social responsibility of a company should be to deliver a profit to its shareholders. Like, I don't think they right now have that responsibility, but I think a great country would create a system where there are incentives. So I'll say disagree. The rich are too highly taxed. Um, strongly disagree. I, I do think that middle class and upper class, like middle upper class people are too highly taxed, but I wouldn't say that the upper classes are too highly taxed. Those with the ability to pay sh should have access to higher standards of medical care. Strongly disagree. Medical care to me is a human right and a civilized society supports one another. And you know, whether or not you worked hard or are in a privileged situation should, did not, should not denote, you know, what kind of care you receive. That is bullshit and it breaks every medical ethical standard like literally since the time of hippocrates or whatever his name is <laughs> forget how to pronounce it governments should penalize businesses that mislead the public strongly agree do i just hate companies or something like i don't who who would disagree with that or why should companies be why should businesses be allowed to just mislead people they rely on people a genuine free market requires restrictions on the ability of predator multinationals to create monopolies. I would say, yeah, agree. Okay, abortion when a woman's life is not threatened should always be illegal. Strongly disagree. Um, the, the thing is, I actually do believe the fetus is a life. A lot of people disagree with me on that. Um, but I think whether or not it's a life is irrelevant because I don't think that someone's someone has the right to someone else's body even if it's to save their own life. Like, I don't think that I, if I needed one of my viewers' kidneys, they should have to give me their kidney. That's not to say that if one of you did give me your kidney, I would think you're a great person. And I think women who don't go through abortion, great people, right? Um, you know, like I, sure. And just in general, it, it, it's really sad. It's really sad for um, children to be born into the world not wanted. That is, um, that is a sad thing. But yeah, I am open to having my mind changed. I'd love to have a debate about it. But th those are my opinions right now. Okay, all authority should be questioned. Okay. Wax, thank you for that follow. You guys are gonna really be surprised here as a monarchist. But yes, I do strongly agree. All authority should always be questioned. I always encourage people on CC to question it for me too. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. I think it's wrong, but I also like understand it. I believe in retributive justice. I know it's not progressive and I know it's not, it doesn't, it's not feel good, but like, I don't know. 
if you've been a victim of something and you imagine the your abuser going through that same thing or having something bad happen to them you're not don't even lie it feels a little good okay there is a sense of justice there but i recognize you will leave the whole world blind so at some point that cycle has to stop so i'll say i agree just sl slightly taxpayers should not be expected to prop up any theaters or museums that cannot survive on a commercial basis um no theaters i mean that's uh, that's a weird question but museums for sure like museums serve the public they're they i don't think even they should necessarily be focused on profit they're educational so strongly disagree schools should not make classroom attendance compulsory this is a hard one because ethically like strongly agree because everyone learns in their own styles but i also know from my own personal experience that those like lefty hippy dippy schools were really ineffective for me it was when i went to a school that was really strict that literally said if you miss more than three days in a semester for being sick no matter what the reason if you miss more than three days you 100 percent like will get kicked out of the school and even though that was so unkind it was really effective like everyone stayed at school and everyone no matter what the shit i met people who came from like the worst situations at that school and they all graduated with top marks and they're all really successful now in university so like that's a total anecdote total anecdote there might be other factors of why that school was great but yeah that's why my inkling is like attendance and being there is really effective but it's also not a possibility for everyone but I think if you attend it virtually, it still should be considered attendance. So I guess I'll say disagree. All people have their rights, but it is better for all of us that different sorts of people should keep to their own kind. <laughs> no. Yeah, strongly disagree. Good parents sometimes have to spank. Fuck that. Fuck that. No. Am I the only one that thinks it's creepy? Like I said... <laughs> I says it's speaking with like a sexual thing. So it's like, it's super weird to me to be spanking your children. It just creeps me out. It creeps me the fuck out. It is natural for children to keep secrets from their parents. Um, I agree, but I don't think it's a good thing. Just because something is natural doesn't mean it's good. Possessing marijuana for personal use should not be a criminal offense. Um, I would say I agree. I'm not going to say I strongly agree because I actually think that there are some issues with marijuana that the left don't talk about. I used to smoke a lot of marijuana myself. Um, and there's a lot of research about like the problems, especially if you have like um, genetic histories and mental health issues and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's obviously not dangerous to the level of something like heroin. And making it illegal just seems like, especially when something like alcohol is legal, like seems really ridiculous. Please don't report me to the RCMP. They will run at me with a horse and horses poop a lot. The prime function of schooling should be to equip the future generation to find jobs. Hmm. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe I have a centrist. It's like on one hand, yeah, I want to equip them to be functional you know, members of society, but to me, uh, being a functional member of society does not equate necessarily to just having a good job. I think you can be a stay-at-home dad and be an incredibly functioning member of society, but at the same time, like, yeah, there are so many other ways to contribute to your community and to your society that does not involve making money. I would be focusing much more on values, instilling the values of, um, of, I guess, your nation. The prime function of schooling should be to equip the future generation for a fighting job. So I will say I disagree. People with serious inheritable disabilities should not be allowed to reproduce. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is literally eugenics. Do I think it's a good idea for them to be reproducing probably not but i don't like the idea of making it illegal because who controls that on top of that the standard of what is a serious inheritable disability does that mean that someone who is depressed should not reproduce and if case and almost like no one everyone has some kind of thing but at the same time there are some really serious things um 
like uh, particularly I, I do think that in general people should get their genetics tested before they um, and see if they share any of the common traits with their potential partner um, and then see like a genetic counselor because there are ways that you can like reduce the chances of putting of your children inheriting these things um, I disagree but not strongly because I do think that there are some good points about about it but yeah this is real centrist <laughs> maybe I am a centrist the most important thing for children to learn to accept is discipline I think discipline is really important. I think it's probably one of the most important tools that you can have as an adult, but I don't think it's the most important. Maybe I'm a bit of a like a hippie lefty in this case, but I feel like the most important thing for your children to learn to do is to be to be kind and to care about others. I feel like my parents really instilled that into me. So yeah, I would say I disagree. I'm not gonna strongly disagree because I think discipline is really important. And I think it's undervalued, especially in like lefty stuff. But I don't think it's the most important thing. There are no savages and civilized peoples. There are only different cultures. Okay, I don't like the term savage and the term civilized. I mean, these all come from ancient Rome. And obviously it's very, very subjective, but I'm also not a cultural relativist. There, okay, so I had this moment in my undergrad. I used to be a cultural relativist. We're taught as historians to use cultural relativism as a tool. But anyways, I was, I took a philosophy ethics class. It was ethics 101 in my undergrad. Um, my professor comes up to the, to the front of the class. He just starts like telling us all about moral relativism, about cultural relativism, about like these different cultures and different religions and how in some cultures they value infanticide and, um, uh, and all, and you know, female side and all these things. And how, you know, Westerners will think that they are so full of themselves that they can just go to this foreign country and just judge everything about them. And so he had us like, and so we were all agreeing about how problematic that was. And we just were completely agreement. Yeah, like, yeah, like you can't judge other, other cultures. Then he turned off the lights. He put on the projector, the images that the, like uh, the video images that the American soldiers took when they found the concentration camps in 1945. And he, and it was just focused on all the bodies. Like there was no, back then, there were no trigger warnings. Then he looked at us, okay, turned it off, and then he said, you have every right to judge because you are a human being with the, ab with the ability to use reason and logic and deduction. Welcome to Ethics 101. While there are some things that I think are just relative to cultures, I think there are some real morals um, where we can judge. Okay, I'll say disagree. Those who are able to work and refuse the opportunity should not expect society support. Those, the, the, well, the question is, is that saying that they're able to work, they have the ability, so they're not disabled, right? Or differently able. I don't like the idea of people starving, but at the same time, I feel like we should provide disincentives. I, I do think that there are some people that just only think of themselves and there should be like, you know, incentive structures to encourage that. Hmm. I'm going to say slightly agree. Few generation immigrants can never be fully integrated within their new country. Oh, first generation. No. In my experience, immigrants, right, like are often more Canadian than Canadians themselves because it takes a lot to immigrate to a country and you do not pick the country that you're going to by accident. You usually pick it because you love those fucking values so much. So yeah, fuck that. What's good for the most successful corporations is always ultimately good for us. What? What? Is this a real question? Is Daddy Bezos watching us? No, strongly disagree, what the fuck? I don't even need a thing. No broadcasting institution, however independent um, its content should receive help. Nah, I disagree. Our civil liberties are being excessively curbed in the name of counterterrorism. Um, I'm going to lose some lefties here. I'm going to say strongly disagree. A significant advantage of one party state is that it avoids all arguments that delay progress in democratic political systems. I mean, I agree that that is a advantage, but it's also a disadvantage. I guess slightly agree. Although the electronic age makes official surveillance easier, only wrongdoers need to be worried. 
I'm gonna lose so many of you and I'm gonna say strongly agree. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out, hear me out. Please don't, don't leave me, don't leave me, please. If there are cameras everywhere, especially when, when police started, okay, the, the big push of recognizing the problems in the police. No, no one leave, no one leave, please. I need views, I'm trying to get partner. God damn it. Um. Uh, the the big movement towards being against the police, right, has been videos that have been recorded, right? Videos um, capture problematic behavior. So I think it, as long as you don't go full 1984, I think I like I do think that there are very pragmatic uses in it. Yeah, body cams are useful. I think public cameras are useful. I think rape is going to happen less often when that shit goes on. Or um, one of my biggest problems is there's a huge prevalence of child abuse material online and child grooming. And I wish that and the only company, the only online company that tracks this is Facebook. And Facebook gets so much shit for being bad with security. But at the same time, they're the only ones actually giving a shit about um, child trafficking and child abuse. I used to be really against like a lot of these surveillance things but when i see the consequences of it of everyone being anonymous and i say that as a full hypocrite because hypocrite hypocrite because i'm behind an anime girl profile but the problem is the reason why i'm behind this profile is because the people who target me are anonymous the people who harass me are anonymous so i wouldn't have to be like this if there was full transparency there the death penalty should be an option for most serious crimes i'm gonna lose you all Okay, I'm gonna re I'm gonna acknowledge that this is a totally emotional response. I feel like I have some rational reasons to back it up, but I know that I'm coming at it from a biased perspective. I really want like rapists and people who commit hate crimes. So I just think they should die. It's not a bad thing if it's legal in that case to do so. The idea of like oh like let's like let them rot in prison and they go other crimes. No, they don't think that these people. I just think no. I don't feel bad. I kill someone you didn't do wrong. I don't know if I would support a death penalty law just because I recognize that there are lots of problems associated with it. I think right now it costs more to actually get someone through with the death penalty than just housing them for their whole life. On top of that, there's so many problems with the judicial system, particularly in the United States. So like, I don't know if I would support it right now, but in theory, in a vacuum, yeah, I would support it. In a civilized society, one must always have people above to be obeyed and, pe and below people below to be commanded. Yeah, yeah, I'll say that. I just, I don't think that that should be based on what you're naturally born into or your race or class. I think it should be based on ability. Abstract art that doesn't represent anything shouldn't be considered art as all. I don't like abstract art myself, but I wouldn't say it shouldn't be considered. I'd say like, disagree. In criminal justice, punishment should be more important than rehabilitation. I actually, I really do believe in um, retributive justice, but... I also really believe in rehabilitation. I just believe in both. So I will disagree. It is a waste of time to rehabilitate some criminals. I do agree with that. There are some people that I don't think can be changed. And I mean, for example, people who are, there is no confirmed treatment for um, uh, for sexual opportunists. The business and manufacturer are more important than the writer and the artist. What? Fuck that shit. Mothers may have careers, but their first duty be, is to be homemakers. I do think it's really amazing. I, I think if a child has a primary home, like, you know, a primary caregiver, it's very important, but I don't necessarily think it needs to be a mother. I think it needs to be whoever is best suited for that, and it totally depends. So I'm gonna say strongly disagree. Multinational companies are unethically exploiting the plant genetic resources of, yeah. I mean, that's just a fact. Like, does anyone disagree with that? Astrology accurately just explains many things. I'd say slightly disagree, but I have to admit, when some people have read my charts, they've been super based, like really close. You cannot be moral without being religious. What? No, it's like, it's like just like what my ethics teacher said. You have the ability to reason and use logic and you can like deduct morals. It's possible. Charity is better than social security. No, fuck that. Charity is just a way for rich people to feel really good about themselves. Okay, not saying that there's like, there aren't really great charity. There are some amazing ones. But I would just much rather have that organized by the people in a government structure. Some people are naturally unlucky. I mean, I, I agree with that. 
It is important. My styles, my child's school instills religious values. Strongly disagree. Don't even need a thing. Okay, last page, last page. We're on the last page. Sex outside of marriage is usually immoral. I disagree. Um, a same-sex couple in a stable, loving relationship should not be excluded. Fuck, whoever disagrees with this is a homophobic piece of shit. Oops, I, don't, I actually clicked disagree. Okay, I got it right, I got it right. Okay. Pornography depicting consenting adults should be legal for the adult population. I'll say agree, but I think that there should be a lot of regulation there because most porn is exploitative. And I don't think porn is necessarily inherently exploitative, but the way it's worked out in our current society, it is. What goes on in a private bedroom between consenting adults is no business on say, mm, I'm actually gonna disagree. Wait, but it says consenting adults. Cause I was thinking like, oh, like if you're like beating your wife, like is she really consenting? But then again, there's BDSM and that can be super consensual. So I'll say slightly agree. No one can feel naturally homosexual. Strongly disagree. These days, openness about sex has gone too far. I, I, it depends on where you live. I guess in the community I'm in, there's a lot of pressure to be super sex positive all the time. And what they really mean by that is being like sexually available to men all the time. So I do think it's gone too far there, but it depends on the community you're living in, right? So I guess just slightly agree. You guys want to see this? Oh my. Whoa, libertarian. Oh, thank God. Thank God I'm not. <laughs> I was so worried I was going to be with Stalin. Is that really far left? So I guess I'm a leftist, guys. I lose,